Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the new Thermalright Assassin Spirit 120 Evo. This is going to be onto an AM5 platform, although AM4, AM5 are basically the same. You still use the AM4 or AM5 backplates, which come supplied with your motherboard. And when it comes to fix-ins, there's not really a great deal you need. So you've got the pinky red standoffs and screws in the bag, and you've also got the two brackets. Those are needed, and also you can use the included thermal paste, which is TF7, or you can use the thermal paste of your choice. Ideally, you want your motherboard laid down flat so you can get nice, easy access to it, but if this isn't the case already, you'll just have to work around all that stuff. So that is pretty much it. So let's get started. So to begin with, with our motherboard, we'll need to remove the standard brackets, which are on AM4 and AM5 motherboards. So for that, you've just got the four screws. So just undo the four screws and remove the plastic brackets and put those to one side for safekeeping. And next we're gonna take the pinky red standoffs and put them over each of the protrusions from the backplate. If you're on AM4, you would need to support the backplate or stick it into place with some gaffer tape or sticky tape just to hold it in place to make life a little bit easier. Next, we're gonna attach the brackets. So to attach the brackets, you'll need the long black screws, which there are four of, and a bracket on each side. And the screw goes down through the hole in the bracket for AM4. And then you just wanna get the thread started. You can do it by hand or you can do it with a screwdriver and just get it down so it's reasonably tight. And then what you can do is you can then adjust the second side. There's a little bit of movement still in it. So you can line that side up, then grab your next screw, drop it down through the hole and also the standoff. And then what you can do is use the screwdriver and make sure that is firmly in place. Once it sort of bites at the very end, do like a, just another little bit of a turn, like a, an eighth of a turn or a quarter of a turn, just to make sure that it's firmly attached. Then essentially it's just rinse and repeat and do the same on the other side as well. So as you can see, this one isn't tightened down very much. So it's actually kind of slopping around a little bit. So ideally just put a little bit more tension on it. You can hold it in place whilst you're doing so. And just do it so it's uh, almost all the way. Then you can line up the back section, put your screw down through, tighten it by hand or by screwdriver and then get it all the way down. When it stops, just give it another little bit of a quarter turn just to make sure that it's firmly in place. So when you've done this, make sure that the brackets are firm. If you press them, they shouldn't move at all. Now we can apply some thermal compound. So we'll just put some TF7. You can do this however you want to. For the sake of this, I'm gonna be taking this apart almost straight away after. So I'm just gonna put a very small blob in the middle there, but you apply the place however you feel fit. Next, we're gonna do the cooler. So remove the plastic protection from the bottom of the CPU cold plate. And if there's any adhesive residue on there, you're more than welcome to clean it off with some isopropyl alcohol. Now for this particular section, you just have to root your fan to whichever side it is gonna be. So in this instance, the fan is gonna be on my right-hand side, and it's gonna be then exhausting out towards the rear IO section, which is on here. And all you want to do is just to match up the screws, which are here and here, with the two protrusions coming from the bracket. So line up whichever one is easier to do. So you just sit it on top and then lower the other side down into place. And it should just float in approximately the right position. If you get your screwdriver, do a couple of reverse turns until you hear that click. That way you know the thread is lined up and then just do maybe one or two turns just to get it started. Then on the other side, just do the same again. You may want to apply a very slight amount of pressure on the top. Do the reverse turns again. There's the click. And then do two or three turns. And then essentially just do that on both sides. So alternate sides, so one, two, three. And the other side, one, two, three. And just keep going until you hit a hard stop. So that side is done. 
and that side is now done also so that is the uh, the cooler attached and it looks pretty nice so the next thing is going to be our wiring now depending on how you're actually going to be doing this you may want to put the ARGB into a hub or directly to your motherboard. The choice is yours. But when it comes to the actual CPU cooler, look on your motherboard for the header, which is marked up CPU fan. And then just simply plug in the PWM cable. And that is that done. And the next part is the addressable ARGB or addressable RGB. So the three pin connection. Look for it on your motherboard in this instance. It's actually in this top corner so that makes life very easy just look out there is actually a pin missing in the middle which should tally up to the pin missing actually on the connector so this one needs to be twisted round that way so the male and female match up and then just simply put it on top and leave it in place obviously with the wires you can then manage them however you see fit behind your motherboard or down underneath the cooler, whichever you want to do. And also you can, if you wish to, take advantage of the daisy chain and connect up additional ARGB connections to this header. So if you've only got one header on your board, but you've got multiple devices, you can then daisy chain into that connector. So that is pretty much it. How to install the Thermalite Assassin Spirit 120 EVO on a AM4 or AM5 platform. So there we go, we're all done and dusted. That is the Thermalright Assassin Spirit Evo ARGB installed on our AM4, AM5 platform. This is a very simple thing to do and hopefully the video has been helpful if maybe it's your first time or maybe it's just, you've not used this particular type of cooler before and you're interested to see how it all works. Obviously, as always, if you've got any comments or questions, feel free to let me know in the comments section below or alternatively, head over to our Discord chat and you can post any of your comments you wish to in there. But otherwise, I think that is pretty much it. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, smash the like button. If you want to see more content of like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and also don't forget to hit the all notifications. That way you'll be notified of all future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.